hello, hello, and welcome to today's episode of Guess the Language. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm your host, Noah, and I'm especially excited to be here today with my friends and colleagues. So, let's meet our first guest today. We are really honored to have Michael Campbell, the founder of Glossica, to join us today. So, Michael, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? How many languages do you know? Well, that's always a secret, but I try to train as many as I can. Yeah, I uh, founded Glossica, tried to build a tool that would, I would find very useful for helping me learn languages, and I want to share it with the world and hope everybody else finds it useful as well. And uh, good luck with your language learning. Claire, tell us a little bit about yourself. How many languages do you know? Thank you. So my name is Claire, and I speak seven languages fluently. Um, and I learn languages because it's it's my passion to understand people from other cultures and learn about their you know worldviews and their lifestyles. So for me, it's just very fascinating to explore entirely different cultures and parts of the world. My name is Teddy. I'm from Indonesia, and um, I know several languages. That's a hard question to answer about how many languages I know. But I, I still keep on learning more languages. I'm Noe, I'm from Spain, and I speak Spanish <laughs> and English and a little bit of Chinese. So oh, come on, you can read Chinese books. And a lot of Chinese. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now it's time to start playing Guess the Language. Who's ready? Everybody <laughs> ready to play? Let's go. All right, we'll start up with some warm-up languages. Let's see if you polyglots really know what you're talking about. <laughs> J'adore manger des croissants et des baguettes près de la Tour Eiffel. I can even tell you the meaning. <laughs> French. <laughs> Are you sure? Completely. Hmm, well, let's see what Teddy thinks. Yeah. French. Yeah, I think we're all in agreement. I'm sorry, everyone. The answer was French. Very oh. good. I can see this warm up was pretty easy for everyone. Okay. But language number two. Alcune persone pensano che l'ananas non dovrebbe essere sulla pizza. Italian. What does everyone think? Is Noe correct? Agree, agree, agree. And that is correct. The answer is Italian. Yes. Very good. Moving on to language number three, folks. Okay. Meu sonho é ser comediante. Noe, what do you think that language is? It's Portuguese. Everyone? Anyone have any other ideas? That is correct! It was Portuguese. <laughs> Noe, guess that language. Japanese. Japanese. That is correct. The language was Japanese. Mm -hmm. All right. It's moving cool. on to language number five. Si hay un premio por ser flojo, enviaría a alguien a recogerlo por mí. Guess si hay... that language. <laughs> si hay un premio por ser flojo, enviaría a alguien a recogerlo por mí. Es español. No, 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 I just... Spanish! Really? Yeah! Oh. <laughs> that's everyone was, in agreement? That sentence, do you guys understand what it means? It's super funny. What does it mean? It means, if there was a prize to be lazy, I will send someone to pick it up for me. That pretty much describes my life, no? And mine, yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right, folks, and now we're moving on to the final language of our warm-up. Noe, your thoughts? Croatian. Okay, you have guessed Croatian. Okay. And I think I'm going to move the mic to Teddy. <laughs> right away. Uh, it sounds like languages in Spain and France. I'll guess Occitan. Provençal? Provençal. Very good guess. That I'm afraid was not the answer. I would say that's definitely Hungarian. Hungarian. Another great guess. And I'm sorry, folks. You know what? Today, no one was able to guess the language. No. The correct answer was Icelandic. What? Again, Icelandic. Wait, play, play it again. Play it again. Yes. yes. Things are going to get a little harder here, everyone. So get ready for a new challenge. Get us. Five seconds, ha, Noe. Ha, ha. Hungarian, yeah. Okay, thank you for your guess, Noe. Let's pass it on and see what Teddy thinks. Um, I don't know, from the accent, it sounds like from India. 
but I cannot guess which language from India. Okay. Just a, okay. What guess? Marathi. Okay. Finish. Finish. Okay. Fair guess. Michael, what do you think? So, <clears throat> I may be tricking myself, but I think that I understood parts of that sentence.、Um, although I haven't studied that language, I would have to agree with Teddy that it's India,、um, because I've studied another Dravidian language, and so I would say that this is probably Tamil.、Um, that's my guess. Well, Michael, I'm sorry, but the answer was Tamil. You、oh, got okay, it. Okay, all right, all right. How all did right. you know that? Well, like I said, I studied a. a A similar language to it, so there are parts of it that I could make out. Yeah, wonderful. Regi gumi babotlottam és beleestem a sármedencébe. Sounds German to me. I don't. It sounds like a Turkic language. Walgis, Kyrgyz. Okay. Kyrgyz. <laughs> I think that's Hungarian. You are correct.、Oh, that is correct.、Yeah. And Michael, you also agree.、Mm. Yeah, I agree. Two votes for Hungarian, which was the correct got my answer. My Hungarian vote. My mama is always calling me a lenivim when I am not in the regime of energy. I have no idea, Teddy. I give up. <laughs> Bulgarian. Bulgarian. <laughs> That's what I was gonna go for. Really? Is that what you still are going to go for, Claire? If you didn't. Proclaim that as right, then. <laughs> I mean, I will go for. I'm just the host. I was gonna say Bulgarian, but I'm gonna say Macedonian. Macedonian. We have a guest for Bulgarian. A vote for Macedonian. Michael, what do you think? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. There's. <clears throat> people are going Slavic here, but I would say there's. I I can't hear anything particularly like. With the、um, the grammar with Macedonian and Bulgarian because they don't they don't decline their their words,、um, so I'm actually going to vote for Ukrainian on this one.、Uh, I just I hear I hear that East Slavic H in there, although I I don't understand much of it. It's it's supposed to be similar to Russian and Ukrainian and Russian are very different. And I would say it, it I I heard a few words that sound familiar, but I would just have to say it's Ukrainian. All right, we have a guess for Bulgarian, a vote for Macedonian, and a guess for Ukrainian, and the winner is Ukrainian. Okay.、Oh. So that's why I'm the last one to guess here. Yeah, that's why I'm the first. <laughs> All right. Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween. Okay, this must have something to do with um um three, two, one, and go.、Uh, thank you. Sounds thank you. like Slavic language. Yeah. Uh, Belarusian. Belarusian. Okay. Pretty sure it's Polish. Polish. Michael, do you think this language sounds like Polish? Can I listen one more time? Sure. Can make an exception. Yeah, because you know Polish has nasals in it, and I hear some nasals in there. And if it's not your native Czech or neighboring Slovak, I, I was trying to think. It's not if it's not Slovak, then it's Polish. But I have to hear those nasals, right? So sometimes people confuse Portuguese and Polish because they sound very nasal. So, but this is definitely Slavic. So I, I will I will vote for Polish as well. It was Polish. Good work, Woo-hoo! Michael. Woohoo! <laughs> Moving on to language number ten. Neredeyse bir timsah tarafından yenildiğime kimse inanmıyor. Joey, what do you think? It's、uh, Greek. Is it? That's a good question. Let's find out. Teddy. <laughs> Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's Greek to me. <laughs> it's Greek. <laughs> Can you play that again? I could play it again. Wait, I'm surprised, Teddy. I'm surprised of you because you, you, you. I thought you almost had it. Well, I know that sound is Kyrgyz. Thank you for your guess, Claire. All right. Yeah, Kyrgyzstan, right? Oh, um, okay. Why is everybody guessing Kyrgyz when you know, it's some corner of the world? I, I'm just gonna say Turkish. And the correct answer was Turkish.、Oh. Okay. How were you able to know that that was Turkish? It just from beginning to end, there's a whole bunch of like 
Turkish parts to it. Okay. And and the pronunciation is very Turkish. But I mean, if it came down to between Turkish and Azerbaijani and Turkmen, I'd have to think a little harder. But I I hear a lot of things that are just Turkish in it. So I don't. How do you explain that? Like she guessed no. German on German on one, and you're like, how is that German? Because you don't understand anything, right? So I was just like, well, there's it's a melody. And like yeah, there's a melody. Yeah. Consonant vowel pattern. I mean, the way that I would differentiate. Let's just say I don't understand anything between Turkish and Azerbaijani. I would just listen for like those mid vowels um, that Azerbaijani has that Turkish wouldn't. So I mean, that's how I would narrow it down. <laughs>